Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, hey, welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you ever so much for returning and watching another video. You make my heart <laughs> What the hell is that? Today's video is on this beautiful chocolate brown wig I received from Ali Pearl. I'm gonna call it Chocolat Chou. A hot chocolate wig to accentuate the hot chocolate babe, yes. So, <laughs> I really hope you guys are catching the colour. Ali Pearl was ever so kind as to send me this beautiful, beautiful 24 inch unit. It is a 5x5 five five HD lace wig. This is quite different because normally the bags have like the Ali Pearl logo. This one just says my beauty secret, so I don't know, was this a mistake, guys? They also gave me an edge brush, which I use throughout this video. They gave me like these crazy long lashes what is it with hair companies and giving you mad lashes because if they gave me a nice fluffy wispy set yeah i'd wear them but these ones guys like this is outrageous and it also gave me the ali pearl satin band i guess to like lay my edges and whatnot oh this is nice the hair is absolutely beautiful. The type of brown it is, it's a bit on the ready side. Let me even come a bit closer. I want you guys to really see what I mean by ready brown. Like, it looks, do you get what I'm saying? Like, it really looks reddish. Like, it's not a brown brown. I'm very sorry, because I feel like I've run my hands through my hair too much in my videos. But I just want you guys to understand that it's so easy to touch, play with. You don't really mess things up by having your hands in it. The lace was absolutely perfect. I just secured it down with a little bit of um, bed head, hard head spray. One thing I would say, compared to other hairs, I had to like maybe go through two, three passes of a section to get it straight. It doesn't shed too much, but um, I have seen a few hairs. I'm not gonna lie to you. Even while I was styling it, there was a few hairs in my lap, but it's nothing alarming, it's natural. Yeah, the hair is just absolutely beautiful. I, I feel so sexy, sophisticated, grown. It's such a beautiful, beautiful style. It just moves. It's just so... I have a quick dilemma. Do you prefer when I do my initial reviews before I do the styling and install video? Or would you rather I integrate my review, my thoughts and my feelings on the hair in the styling video? Comment below and let me know what you would rather. On that note guys, I've told you everything you need to know about the hair. If there's anything that I have included in this video, please drop me a comment. I will be sure to answer. So let's get into the video and I hope to see you at the end of things. Bye. To begin, I've applied some foundation only to the beginning part of my cap because I'm really feeling light exaggerated partings. I'm going for really light plucking this time because Sistron, we need to prioritise the longevity of these closures and I'm tired of that bold closure look. And also the hair is brown. I don't know what that means but the science in my mind is telling me that the hair would appear a lot lighter. It would appear as though there's less. I don't know, maybe the lightness of the hair will make it blend in a bit more of my skin so I wouldn't need to pluck it as much as I would with a colour one wig. And to further lay things in place, I'm going to use my GOAT, the Diamante Hair Wax Stick. You know my usual spiel about her. She is semi-matte, she isn't too heavy, and she doesn't weigh the hair down. So I'm applying a bit of this to the front of the hair and following up with my hot comb, just to make sure things are sleek from root to tip and build that height and volume that I love so much. Now for the parting, we're going to press the life out of this wig. So if you can see, I'm really, really pressing into this wig because I want things to be super, super flat and I want the hair to look like it is coming out of my scalp, okay? This part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just cutting the lace in a jagged motion so it blends with my skin. And to secure the hairline down, as this wig is a little bit big, I'm using my bed head hard head spray. Just a few presses of this onto the lace, and then I'm melting the hairline with my wig grip band. So I pre-straightened one side of the hair just so it makes filming a bit easier. And for the process of showing you my straightening technique, I'm gonna focus on the side that isn't straightened, obviously. I'm going in with Pantene Gold Heat Protectant Spray and a little bit of my ORS Olive Oil Heat Protection Serum, just so I get a really, really silky, weightless look. I 
and I just want you guys to see what I meant when I said that I had to go over sections of hair with multiple passes so I want a really really sleek straight look and I realized that I had to go over parts of the hair once twice three times and that's also why I use the serum just so it weighs down the hair a bit It would have probably made more sense for me to use a wide plate straightener, but I don't have one right now, so we're just gonna have to make this work. This was a whole lot of work. The hair is long and it required that little bit more effort when it came to straightening. Using the chasing method, I'm going over the stubborn areas. And for my signature height and volume I like in the front, I'm just going over with my hot comb to press things into place. So I've just sectioned off a portion of the hair and I'm using some scissors to cut some choppy layers into the front. Just so these frame my face a bit more and add depth to the style if you get what I mean. At this point, it's just a lot of zhuzhing and working with the hair, pinching sections, going over what doesn't look right. I've taken off the wig grip band and now I'm just using a comb to break apart any sections that might be stiff. Just get the hair looking as perfect as you want it to and Voila, this is the finished look. Note how everything looks so sleek and flowy. There is movement. The color is just perfect. The way the light is hitting it is perfect. The way it's sitting on my skin is perfect. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If there's anything I've missed, do drop me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.